don't forget to go down in the description below to check out all the discounts and reductions and special offers available for different softwares thank you welcome to another video on dxo photo lab 8 where i'm going to combine the dxo photo lab itself with the dxo film pack and dxo viewpoint if necessary of course because i don't think it's necessary at this very moment but we'll see now we have this beautiful image from blue mountain sydney australia and i think this deserve some sort of a very contrasty look preferably black and white but i'm not sure yet so we're gonna get into the apply preset and see if there is any preset um has this um wow effect when i say wow effect has to be like punchy contrasty beautiful and all that so we're going to take a look generally that's how i go i start with the preset and then see if it's um you know um appealing to me when i mean appealing meaning when i'm looking at it i say wow that's a beautiful image it deserves to be even printed if necessary now uh, these all of them looks pretty interesting um but you know nothing that catching my eye yet i'm kind of um for this um, particular look that i just found right there the pastel which is which is which seems to be very interesting in my eyes if not then i can go and see if the color somewhere um the color films but the color frames i'm not sure yet but probably the fuji pro um, 400 this one looks pretty fantastic to me fuji pro via looks very good too but nothing yet that calling my i think i'm going to go back to black and white so that would be the traditional black and white look somewhere here if not i'm going back to dxo film pack version of the black and white that you know I start with something that pretty punchy and contrasty which i think that fuji across um r filter seems to be interesting so that already looks pretty nice to me now it it's missing a lot of things but especially the brightness first so i'm going to turn on the dxo smart lighting very well now followed by i'm going to start with the dxo clear view plus finally so we are talking it looks pretty good looking and contrasty in my eyes i like it personally you probably have a different opinion now this area somewhere here i think the white can be a bit more white to you know make this part stand out this particular tutorial is for beginners only therefore if you already used this software previously and looking for something more in depth unfortunately this video is not it i highly recommend you to stop watching this video if you already have used it before and go and search for something that actually going to teach you in depth unless you want to critique my video that's fine by me too but please be nice so i'm going to first of all go to the lens correction make sure the horizon is right crop it distortion correction has already been fixed so that's good then not yet the um, denoising because i don't think it's necessary yet and then uh, i would probably work with the channel mixer let's see if how where it takes me so the red channel seems to be interesting here Blue, cyan yeah cyan i need the sky a bit more dark perfect so i'm going to make everything a bit more dark here and the green 
probably not sure yet yellow probably make the yellow a bit more bright that looks nice and uh, when I'm when it comes to crop I'll go to unconstrained make sure make sure they are nice and good probably a little bit crop on this side and that's it perfect right now we're going to go to local adjustment so local adjustment I'm pretty straightforward I'm I make sure that here I turn it on right now make sure the shadow the luma a bit more precision a bit more contrast a bit more brightness now I can do some you could use some brush like somewhere here probably the automatic is much more safer Now let's turn on give some give some give some boost with the contrast micro contrast as well clear view plus you see that it looks it looks a bit weird to me so it doesn't look natural so I'm going to delete the automax here and use my control point instead make sure that it does the same job so shadow mid-tone make sure the luma is put more bit more pre precision and bit more exposure and same in the corner here I guess it deserves a little bit more more brightness here obviously I'm not going to go crazy Clear view plus contrast micro contrast right now I'm going to turn this on off go back to exposure probably erase a little bit more exposure a bit more mid tone a bit more fine contrast And overall it looks pretty good let's take a look at the global globally give me one second it might take some time what do you think in my opinion it looks very beautiful to me obviously we can continue to you know edit it as much as we want but at this very moment it looks pretty awesome very punchy very contrasty deserves to be printed so now we're going to go back to like photo library then export to my Flickr account so I highly recommend you to go down into my Flickr account and take a look at the this particular image uh, in full volume so I'm going to go to the photo set nature export as JPEG and export so it's going to my Flickr account directly from DxO which is pretty cool
so let me know what you think you can actually continue to do more stuff all you have to do is to go to effects and then you know you can use the mini miniature effect if you want to you can always add some cold tone filter you can add some more grain if you want to you can do creative vignetting while it's exporting i'm going to show you some creative vignetting see if you like it maybe intensity this could be a creative vignetting opposite direction to make it a bit more dark or a bit more bright you know the sky's the limit up to you at this very moment this is my little tutorial of uh, the black and white creative editing on dxo photo lab 8 combined with the dxo film pack and the viewpoint hope you like this video if so like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye bye